Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and I thought I would give you a cold weather update on uh, two plants that I'm just uh, that I've planted in ground just as an experiment to see how we get on this year. Now, in the last week, we've had two nights uh, when it went down to at least minus six, and temperatures of only probably two or three degrees centigrade during the day and if you recall I've got a bacon avocado seedling and it is only a seedling planted in the ground and I've got my strawberry cherry guava that was completely destroyed um, last year unprotected I didn't protect it at all last year and we had those temperatures down uh, that was December 22 we had temperatures down to minus seven for at least minus seven or minus eight for several nights and days when it didn't get above freezing and it did completely kill the plant down to the ground and I thought it was totally dead but it came back up from the uh, from right from the base from just above the roots the main trunk um, obviously wasn't completely dead and <coughs> regenerated <coughs> I also had a seedling avocado plant in the ground here that I didn't plant it was uh, probably planted by some squirrels and I think it's fair to say it was probably from the type of the leaf, shape of the leaves on it and it was a particularly large stone when I found it. I'm going to guess it might have been a Caribbean avocado because it had a huge stone, certainly not likely to be uh, a bacon or a fuerte, plus it's not an avocado that commonly turns up in the... Uh, in the stores here but anyway i had some bacon avocados and decided to plant some seeds now i'm testing out their resistance to cold in my summer house obviously not outside but i had a spare one and a bit of place space i thought i would plant this one in the ground now what i did last week when we had two nights of minus six degrees i put two layers of frost sheeting over these but no supplementary heat source so there's no um, there's no incandescent lights no pots or buckets of hot water to put underneath it i've literally just covered them to try and keep the worst of the frost off and see how they do now you can see the level of damage that the avocado has taken uh the stems basically have or the leaves have curled up in, from cold damage this this is cold damage on here it's not lack of water um, but they still have some greenness to them and the main shoot at the moment is looking green now one of the problems with avocados and trying to build their cold hardiness is they take several years or can take several years to get any woodiness on the stem and it's the woodiness that protects the trunks which is when they tend to get a little bit more uh, cold resistant or able to withstand colder weather um, but it is an issue here because it takes them a long time to develop that lignified stem now obviously at the moment this one although it's taken damage at the tips it doesn't look dead it just simply is suffering from the cold however it is only in mid January and obviously our winters really do seesaw heavily here. Now the next week I'm going to leave the covers off both these plants. This is the strawberry guava. You can see that it has taken damage higher up on the thinner younger shoots. Uh, this is all cold damage here but at the moment <coughs> lower down on the plant um, these shoots unfortunately developed in about, I think it was September, October, so the growth was very, very soft and not toughened up at all. Lower down on the stems, where they're a little bit woodier and the leaves were older, at, so far it seems to be resisting the cold quite well. Um, last year the whole plant turns completely black within a week or two from the cold. So I'm hoping that with these two plants, that these two layers of... Uh, these two layers of fleece that I'm putting on will give enough protection for them to survive. They're obviously not going to survive in A1 condition, but if they don't get major dieback, in particularly the strawberry guava I'm interested in, the avocado doesn't really matter because it's just a spare seedling that I had just to see if it would survive 
the normal winter but at the moment of course it's not turning out to be a normal winter again it's um the previous two or three years i was only getting minus twos and minus threes whereas the last two winters i've been getting minus six minus seven or colder which is um it, it is excessively cold for my area which is just on the outskirts of london in the suburbs where i'm supposed to be in a microclimate but so far so good now we're going to get more cold spells for sure um, and I, as soon as I see the next week, as I said, it's likely to be no colder than four or five centigrade at night, so about uh, 40 degrees Fahrenheit, and probably up to 12 or 13 centigrade during the daytime temperatures, which is sort of 54, 55, 56 Fahrenheit. So um, I'm going to leave them uncovered, but I'll obviously be keeping an eye on the weather forecast because I'm planning to cover these each time it looks like it's going to go below zero because I don't want to stretch them to the limits I'm going to try and give them enough protection to keep them a little bit healthier so the strawberry guava so far I'm happy looks pretty good I'm not worried about that little bit of uh, damage on the tips of the shoots because the main leaves look okay lower down so I think it'll shoot back quite quickly avocado probably not likely to survive if we get some more cold spells like that but you never know um, we're not going to know till about april or may but nevertheless still quite satisfactory to see them at least looking green compared to last year so thanks for watching the video that was just an update in mid-january on the first after the first cold spell and obviously i will do another update in february depending on how many cold spells we get thanks for watching please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel share the video if you think it's going to be useful to anybody um, and of course click on the bell if you like updates on new videos when they come out i'll catch up with you all soon brett out for now